picture the Guyana of the future, pristine, economically diverse, developed, resilient. Today's Guyana represents the green state in her early stages. Through the Green State Development Strategy, the GSDS, the government of Guyana has devised a roadmap for development that highlights sustainability across all sectors. A completely green and sustainable nation is within reach and even achievable by 2040. The state's principal objective is to secure the good life for all. The good life entails providing every citizen with opportunities to be the best that they can be. The good life is about securing sustained economic prosperity, ensuring citizens access to quality public services, and promoting social cohesion. The good life involves eliminating extreme poverty and removing social ethnic and geographic inequalities. The ultimate indicators of the good life are happy communities, happy households, and happy people. Your government has chosen a green pathway to guide it towards achieving a good life. The economy for too long has been dependent on the production and export of primary commodities, all of which are vulnerable to exogenous market shocks and natural hazards. A green pathway allows us to benefit from our country's abundant natural resources. A green development trajectory will ensure a diversified, resilient economy, promote sustainable development, social cohesion, and good governance, and protect the environment by generating wealth and employment. The Green State Development Strategy is our roadmap for the transition towards the good life. The document, while encouraging a greener way forward for Guyana, is primarily focused on diversifying the country's economy, opening it up to sustainable income and investment opportunities, with benefits that trickle down to the average Guyanese, the Department of Environment within the Ministry of the Presidency has already drafted the GSDS and presented it to Cabinet. Having had good reception at the policy level, the Department now shifts its focus to raising awareness among the people of Guyana. Ms. Aretha Ford, Stakeholder Management Coordinator at the Department of Energy, explains the importance of participation from the population on this ambitious endeavor. It's a good thing that the document is an ambitious one. Um, in order for the recommendations that are in the strategy document to work, however, we as, as a collective citizenry need to work together because it's intended that whatever benefits stem from the policies and the programs that we implement would go to each and every Guyanese and not just a section of the population. So, I, I know we all want the country to move forward and we all want to benefit from whatever development activities take place. Lamenting the fact that the average Guyanese may assume that the GSDS targets only environmental issues, Ms. Ford said that the department is hard at work at keeping the nation informed as implementation activities are set to begin in 2019. So one of the things that the department has been doing to help Guyanese understand what green development, what a green state really means, is to have these green conversations that we have been hosting in collaboration with Conservation International. So what we do is to bring in international speakers who would touch on various aspects of the green economy and we would do these green conversations with a topic that's appropriate for the location. Acknowledging that to most Guyanese, a change like this can only seem intimidating, Ms. Ford said that the secret to embracing the GSDS is relatively simple. Learn more about Guyana, she says. Be conscious consumers, buy local, want more for our country, and most importantly, practice unity. 
We sought the opinions of Guyana's future leaders on the matter. Students attending the University of Guyana were eager to share how the green state reshapes their future. We have potential. We have we are lush forests, like 79% or 76% of the places covered in forests. We have abundant sunlight all year, tremendous amounts of wind. We should have gone green 50 years ago. I'm just saying my opinion. But now that they're in Am um, doing it, I believe it's a positive step forward. I think it will help change that and put Guyana map because by going green, we will help to preserve a lot of in, environment, a lot of ecosystems in the country, and thus. In the future, a lot of these habitats and ecosystems are going extinct. So if Ghana can preserve those, we will be able to boost tourism because we will have one of the few places where those ecosystems exist. And now I think that this strategy would like, like open up new doors, like education-wise and um, business-wise and employment. I've been watching TVs. And it's like people be focusing on Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname. It's like they're going around, but what happened to Guyana? Okay, okay. to me, I want to see a Guyana where people are proud. Guyanese are proud to say that they're Guyanese because a lot of people go overseas and they talk, they talk bad about us. Oh, Guyana, we don't do this, we don't do that. And that's not nice. Like, we go over overseas and we talk down. I would like people to be proud of being Guyanese and everybody to be one, to work together. I want to see... Uh, country helping other country for instance because we might be the, we, no, we are developing this strategy I want to see us assisting each other and helping them to develop their strategy also. A new Guyana is on the rise and this government is committed to seeing Guyana reach her full green potential. This has been Government in Action. I am Grace Williams. Goodbye. <laughs>